on to Last of the Mexicans. Um, this is another episode from 2011. So again, South Park was really getting into uh, a lot of the economic issues um, that were really prominent in 2011. They're still very prominent now, um, but like was really prevalent in the media. So they're often going for stuff like that. Um, the boys play Texas versus Mexicans, uh, it's, you know, which is the, the underlying theme of, 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 the, uh, of the episode is that they're playing this game, which turns into like a real, not necessarily a game, but it turns into reality, right? Where, um, you know, where, where, where Butters ends up um, in Mexico. Um, but they, what you see here and, um, you know, two of the things Ewing talks about um, is looking at um, stereotypes. So specifically the stereotypes of Mexican Americans, which are contradictory stereotypes. One that we saw, um, you know, in the uh, Museum of Tolerance, right? Uh, the Wax Museum is that, you know, Mexican Americans are, are lazy. This is one, one stereotype, right? That they're lazy, uh, listless, etc., sleepy. Um, the other, the contradictory stereotype is that Mexican Americans are, you know, hard, do hardworking, demeaning, demeaning labor, um, and often, you know, that is the backbone of, of American society and, um, you know, a, a, a group of people that are largely exploited uh, for their labor, um, likely due to, like, you know, um, you know uh, nationalism and stuff like that. Um, but anyways, so this is really important. You see both class and labor manifest here and ethnicity in this episode. Um, Cartman is a play on this, um, this Joe, Joe Arpaio, who's like a major, like protect the border, um, you know, douche. Um, uh, and, um, you know, so Cartman plays him, um, and Butters is the a Mexican American, uh, mantequilla, which means butter in um, Spanish. And um, you know, basically, what happens is Butters, as you see um, in the game uh, Mex uh, Texans versus Mexicans, he gets he gets lost, and then he gets adopted by a new family. And his new family, what is his value in the new family? The value in his new family is his labor. Oh, window, window, Windex, right? Where they're trying to teach him language, as you'll see here in a, in a few in a few seconds. Um, but you know, basically, what happens is Butters is trying to get back to um, Mexico uh, after he escapes this this family that that takes him in. Is that um, you know uh, he ends up at this restaurant talking to a bunch of Mexican. American laborers and they're not they're not confused like they know he's they're wondering why this young white boy wants to be Mexican and that this young white boy who wants to be Mexican also wants to get out of America because it sucks and gets back get back get back to um, Mexico and so Basically, there this starts this mass migration back, um, back to Mexico of all the all the all the Mexicans, uh, Mexican Americans in the United States, um, and then it creates a labor, a labor issue where now the border patrol is trying to keep them in the country. It's 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 a pretty interesting, um, you know, uh, converse of of the narrative, right? Um, you know, where where you know the presumption is people want to come here for the freedom and. You know, be able to work, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, um, but yeah, they they realize, you know, the Mexican Americans realize how bad it is to be in such a shitty country where their labor is exploited, straight up, you know, and not respected. Okay, and so they flee back, you know, migrate back. Um, it's a play on, you know, like border wars too, like that. There was a show on National Geographic about protecting the borders. A critique critique of that you know um, part of the the intertextuality um, and a little bit more of the subdued parody within within this um, within this episode um, it's also the title is a play um, on um, last of the Mohicans which you know again is one of the very the many um, white savior movies uh, where you have Daniel Day Lewis playing um, I can't remember what tribe 
um, but playing a Native American, you know, and you know, whatever. Same as like Tom Cruise in, in, in The Last Samurai, shit like that. Um, you know, so it's a little bit of a play on that where Butters, um, you know, becomes this like white savior um, in Mexico. Um, you have another parody in a way, or probably I would call this, um, you know, uh, a pastiche uh, to the Monty Python's The Life of Brian, which is a, a religious um, satire and parody uh, done by the Monty Python guys. And, um, you know, the images of naked butters coming to the window and, uh, you know, raising this arms up. And, you know, that all comes from, from that movie. So you can see in the images uh, um, that, uh, you know, it is like a pretty direct uh, parody or uh, pastiche of that because the guys, you know, love Monty Python. Okay, so some things to think about as we watch this. Again, I'm going to have you just watch this on your own. I want you to think about these things specifically from Ewing, right? Um, you know, how does this episode show us how Mexican or Mexican-American labor is two things disrespected in the United States, like totally disrespected, yet in completely essential, completely essential to the economy and U.S. society as a whole. So both disrespected and also just essential activity, right? Essential labor here in the United States. Okay, think about that, how that manifests in the episode. Think about these two stereotypes, um, you know, presented specifically in South Park, but often generally in the media of, you know, um, of, of, you know, Mexican Americans or Mexicans being lazy or being, you know, only valuable for their, like, doing demeaning or hard labor, okay, uh, or difficult work. Like, how does that manifest in the episode? And just think about, like, also, like, Americans how Americans think Amer uh, uh, think of America as being awesome and being the best. And they're so are sort of there. <laughs> are, uh, at least my, you know, uh, well, our uh, narcissism about the country, you know, and, and how that gets sort of torn apart here, which I think is really uh, important, you know. Specifically the things now, like, like, oh, no, oh, how could, you know, the pandemic won't affect us, you know, oh, fuck, you know, like, um, but yeah, he also talks about, you know, uh, you know, just thinking, you know, how this comments on all that, um, you know, and the construction of these stereotypes, how does South Park sort of deconstruct those in, in a way, uh, in an important way, okay, and think about how this episode connects things like, uh, class, Marx's ideas of class and labor theory of value and labor exploitation with, with race, ethnicity, gender, etc. See how that sort of manifests in this episode, okay? And uh, with that said, uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you, you've made it halfway through week three. I hope you're doing well. I uh, hope you see, see you at happy hour at five. We're out here at Tegrity Farms.